I'm Claudia, and in today's demo, I will show you how to measure the width of a hair with a laser pointer. The materials that we need are a strand of hair, a laser pointer, tape, a calculator, and a ruler. Since we will be handling lasers, there are three safety measures that we need to remember. First, do not look at the laser beam, ever. Second, do not point the laser beam at anybody. And third, do not point the laser beam at any reflective surfaces, such as mirrors or foil paper. With that in mind, let's start our demo. Okay, so first um, I need a hair, so let me get one. Okay, so now I have a hair, and um, I will take my laser pointer, and I am going to tape my hair on top of it. So just make sure that you don't turn it on when you're doing this. And make sure that you tape it in such a way that the hair goes right in front of the slit. For the system to work, we need to be one meter away from the wall. So make sure that you measure the distance from the wall to the place where you will pointing the laser from. And mark the floor, if you can, with tape so you are sure that you are one meter away. Now we're one meter away from the wall and I will have my assistant to turn it on the laser. So as you can see, we have this beautiful pattern. What I am going to do now is I am going to mark on the wall, or in this case on the board, the distance between the first two black lines. and I can turn off now the laser. Now I have my ruler. So I am going to measure the distance that we marked on the board. And it's 2.5 centimeters. Remember to measure it with the centimeters part. To find the width of a hair, we'll use this equation. We need the laser wavelength the distance to the wall, and we already measured that, we need the distance between the dark lines, and this is from the beautiful pattern that we measured with the laser, and we need to multiply that by one half. To find the laser wavelength, the thing that you need to do is just look at the tag that is under laser, and in one of the lines it will say wavelength, so get that measurement and write it down, and my laser is 532 nanometers. So the laser wavelength is 532 nanometers. The distance to the wall, as we measured it, is one meter, and the distance between the dark lines is 2.5 centimeters. So here we converted all to meters. So here we plugged all our numbers. So we have done the math, and this is our result, presented in meters, and as you can see, it's really small. Uh, putting it in micrometers is 42.5. So if I stack 23 of my hair strands, I could fit them in the width of a penny. That's really, really small. Remember the diffraction pattern that we saw? That was generated by the hair and the laser. We saw something like this, with a really bright part at the center. And these were like dark lines. And this diffraction pattern, as it's normally called, it's just something that is caused because of the hair was in the way of the laser beam. And in order for you to understand this really fast, just think about waves and water. When you drop rocks into the water, you generate patterns of waves. If those patterns are really close to each other, those waves start interfering with each other and they form like a different shape from the original uh, pattern of waves that you had. And that's pretty much what happens with the laser and the hair. The hair goes in the way of the laser and it causes the waves of light to interfere with each other and you find a pattern like this. Now you see an application of light diffraction to measure very thin things. And with that in mind, you can also measure 
the web of the leg of a bug, or maybe the thread of a spider web. You name it. Once again, I'm Claudia from the interdisciplinary science education team at CBST. Thanks for watching.